Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. Today I just wanted to come out and share a couple things with you that I believe will encourage you. Uh, in my last video, I had shared uh, just a, a little bit about a dream the Lord had given me, and I shared how he, I was being counseled in the dream to begin to really invest in the people. All right, It was time to invest in, in the people. And uh, this is what I didn't share. So uh, I ended up, I was driving up the road after I was counseled to do this, and um, I looked up in the air and suspended above my vehicle was uh, these, these stalks of, I believe, barley. It looked like wheat, uh, but I believe it was barley. I'll tell you why in a second. And, uh, and then as I was driving, just uh, little bits just began to fall down onto my vehicle. All right, so now barley, we know in order for uh, the, the fruit of the barley to be separated from the stalk, it has to be uh, winnowed, okay? So winnowing is something where they throw the, the grain, they throw it up into the air, and then the wind comes through and separates it. It's like a cleansing. It's symbolic of being separated from sin. Now, for wheat, it's a different process. It has to go through uh, a tribulum, uh, which is why... Many believe that, you know, the wheat is symbolic of the people who will have to go through tribulation to be saved uh, because it's, it's more of like a grinding process. So um, anyway, I believe that, that uh, those stalks were barley and they, I believe the Lord is showing us that the barley, all right, the, the, the bride of Christ, those who have yet to come to him, but who are appointed to be a part of the bride of Christ are right now in the process of being winnowed. All right. And they will begin to to just descend and basically fall into our laps. All right. Uh, as far as, you know, bringing in the harvest, I feel like the Lord is showing me uh, that that this is going to be a lot like Noah. Now, when Noah was ready to enter into the ark, OK, God himself sent those animals to the ark. Noah did not go out and round them up. Uh, they just came. They just came. The Lord did the work. God went out and drew them to the ark. And that's so important to remember right now because I believe with um, the dream of the barley falling on to my vehicle, which is actually symbolic of ministry, a, a personal vehicle, um, I believe the Lord is showing us that he's doing the work. It's the same thing he showed me in the dream about the corn. If you remember, I said I looked out the window and saw all this corn, you know, I was in this building, I believe it was like a church building, and all of a sudden I heard this explosion, and all the corn from the field had blown onto the building. And when I went outside, there was a woman, she was the farmer, and she was looking for people to volunteer to help bring in the, the crop before it went bad. It was like we had to bring it in a hurry. So I volunteered to help bring it in. Uh, you know, but again, in that dream, the Lord is showing he's the one who is making the crop ready we're just we're just gathering it you know we're just uh you know bringing it in god is the one who's making it ready and i wanted to share that because i think sometimes people knowing we're the end time generation knowing we have the commission to bring in the end time harvest can get a little bit nervous uh and and maybe feeling like you're not doing enough or something to that effect but I want you, God, I believe, wants you to understand he's the one doing the work. He's the one moving on the hearts of people, making them uh, begin to question uh, their eternal future, uh, g giving them reason to begin to contemplate their eternal futures uh, so that they will be seeking out people who can help them answer their questions and, uh, and lead them to the Lord. All right? So... I hope that encourages you, but uh, I wanted to also share, a couple days ago, the Lord gave me another dream, and in this dream, I had gone into a store, and there were all these white fur coats, all right? Now, people were, were trying to get the coats, but in order to get the coat, they had to have taken taken like two free things from the store and then they could get the coat for free. Nothing cost anything, but everything had to be done in a certain order. And um, I just remembered thinking, because uh, there were so many of these white fur coats that, wow, all these people are going to be out on the street and they're going to have the same coat. And uh, I believe 
what the Lord is showing us in that dream because a coat is symbolic of a mantle. White is symbolic of God's holy power. And I believe the fur is, is the same type of a mantle uh, that Elijah wore. So I believe the Lord's showing us that he is giving his people these mantles to operate in his holy power like Elijah did. Okay, so uh, as we are working on bringing in this end time harvest, I believe God is empowering his people uh, to do mighty things, mighty, mighty acts, things that maybe you never thought in your life you would do. Uh, but, but he is distributing, I believe, mantles to his people right now of holy power, holy power. So just be encouraged, church, as you are waiting and watching for the Lord. Uh, our Heavenly Father is working with us uh, to bring in this harvest. Um, I believe he is doing the work for us. And uh, it's important to remember that because, you know, I think back to when I just got saved and how I was with my sister. I used to, I used to just lambaste her, you know, spiritually speaking, uh, coming against her lifestyle, coming against her choices and the sin in her life. And, uh, you know, I had no idea the damage I was doing until the Lord gave me a dream. And in the dream, um, I was like fighting this black dog and I killed the dog in the dream and I felt like I was victorious. But then I looked and the dog turned into my sister and I was just devastated and began to weep because I realized in the dream I had killed my sister. So when I woke up, um, you know, with that sick feeling in your stomach, you know, how when you have a dream that feels so real. And the Holy Spirit showed me that what I was doing to my sister by constantly condemning her and constantly judging her and preaching at her, I was actually pushing her further away uh, from him. And uh, where I thought I was, you know, victorious over the evil in her life, I was actually destroying my sister. All right, so... A few years later, you know, the Lord brought my sister to Jesus. She got saved. And I always say she got saved in spite of me, not because of me, because God is gracious. Okay, so he answered my prayers. Um, but And I believe, you know, he will answer our prayers. But he wants us, you know, to remember, uh, you know, we are here to uh, just be an extension of his love of his grace toward people and especially right now he's showing us he's doing the hard work he really is and we just it's almost like we just need to be there to catch what he sends to us honestly that's that's the sense I get you know like that that barley just falling right into our laps so just be prepared um, as the as the word of God tells us to always be prepared to give people a reason for the hope that you have all right. And and in the dark times that we're seeing today, if you're walking around with hope, you definitely stand out. So uh, be prepared for God to send those people to you who are looking uh, for for truth and who are looking uh, for answers. Be prepared. You may be the one who leads them to the Lord. And we know right now he's bringing it. He's bringing in the last of the last. Uh, the fullness of the Gentiles, the fullness of the bride of Christ is coming in now. So let's be prepared to do our part. All right. As always, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.